Christine. So word on the street is Vampire Academy, the film, has finally jumped into the casting process. It's about freaking time. So I don't know how long you've been over here on Paul Manis books, but a while back, 2010, I went through those babies. I loved those books. I have said this so many a time now, but if you have missed the announcement, Vampire Academy series is phenomenal. It's kind of like watching the Vampire Diaries. You gotta give it two books before you're in love with it, and the first two books are literally like this. It takes you two seconds to finish them. They're fun to read, but then you get to three, four, five, six. <gasps> oh my god! And the name Vampire Academy is just not very fun to say. But luckily, they've changed the name of the film. A lot of people ask me how I feel about this. I feel that was the smartest decision you could ever make. And I mean no offense to the books, because obviously I love them. You might be wondering why the heck they're not just displayed beautifully behind me. And that is because I have read them all on my iPad. So I have them all virtually, including the Bloodline series. So we have gotten casting news for Lissa, Rose, and Dimitri. Oh, we're missing Adrian, but it doesn't really show up till Frostbite. So the movie is going to be called Vampire Academy colon, Blood Sisters. It sounds rather ominous. It sounds mysterious. It sounds creepy. Digging it. Good news! Mark Waters, director of Mean Girls, is directing Blood Sisters. <laughs> Score! Some casting news for Vampire Academy has fans of the great novel equally excited as we have now found our Lissa Rose and Dimitri. Lucy Fry will star as Lissa Dragomir. Now, I don't know any of these people that they've casted yet, so I can't really judge them. But let's IMDB them. On her IMDB, she's been in a TV series called Lightning Point. And that's it. So I don't know actually how I feel about her now. That just made me very nervous. She, I hope she's tall. She kind of looks like she's a model. Can you see that picture? She does look very Lissa there. So she looks the part. This must be her big break. This is not that hard to play. The more important one really is Rose. Lucy Fry is an Australian actress. She's best known for playing Zoe in Lightning Point. She was born March 13th, 1992. Wow. I hate being older than people in these movies. Next, who is our Dimitri? Dimitri is actually Russian, so I'm super excited about that. He looks like Dimitri. Dimitri seems to be perfectly cast. I don't know about his acting skills, man. I think he's a Russian actor, though, so. Dimitri's name is Danila Kozlovskalayi. Let me try that again. Danila Kozlovsky. Danila Kozlovsky. I think I, I think I knocked that one out of the park. Krosa. You know, he's actually gonna have a Russian accent. It's gonna be great. Let's IMDb that shit. Danila's IMDb is pretty lacking. There's not even a picture. Maybe that's because he's Russian. Racist IMDb. He was born May 3rd, 1985. He's gonna be 28 this year, which is a little older than Dimitri, but you know. Come on, Stefan is 30. In 2012, he was in Gulfstream Under the Iceberg. Interesting. So nothing that we really know of in America, but he's done a lot of things. So Danila is attractive. <laughs> I don't know if you say Danila's name like Danila, so I apologize. I am not a Russian. See that, that, that is Dimitri. If I've ever seen Dimitri. Good work, casting. That is attractive. And lastly, we've got our lead, our lead, Rose Hathaway. Rose Hathaway will be played by Zoe Deutsch. Zoe Deutsch? When I heard Zoe Deutsch, I know I've heard that name associated with Beautiful Creatures, the film. Immediately, I, I was frightened that it was the girl playing Lena, and uh, no, she is not Rose. But Zoe Deutsch, she is attractive. And I don't know if she was what I pictured as Rose. She could be morphed into Rose. I just saw an interview with her. She's charismatic in a very girly, giggly way, which I don't associate with Rose. But Zoe Deutsch was an actress, so I have faith in her. She's 5'4". She grew up in Los Angeles, California, and she's playing Emily Asher. Oh, that little bitch from Beautiful Creatures. Let's see what else she's been in. She was in an episode of NCIS. She was in The Sweet Life on Deck. She played Maya Bennett from 2010 to 2011, and she was in seven episodes she was in the ringer 18 episodes of the ringer so she must have been a character a main character and yeah i'm excited what are you thinking i'm really excited about this dimitri guy hoping he's as awesome as he seems to be oh also indigo spells coming really soon i'm so sad decided decided yes yes if you want to follow me on twitter i'm at may i'll talk to you soon bye